Hey folks, Phil the Bee Man here. We're at an apiary site where I've previously identified the Varroa mite level being way too high for comfort, about three and a half percent. And so I thought this would be a good site to run a bit of a side-by-side -side comparison on. So I'm going to use uh, four different uh, application methods here. Got my Apovar strips, got hop guard strips, and I've got mite gone pads. This is a, a, a formic acid system. So these pads have been soaked in formic acid. They're kind of stinky. And then this hive, uh, we have nothing but when we come, we when we apply oxalic acid, that'll be the treatment for those. So the oxalic acid vapor, apivar, formic, and hop guard. And what I'm going to do to label my hives is I stole out of my uh, family's uh, entertainment center Lion King playing cards. And so I'm gonna just deal these out uh, somewhat randomly. So here we go, we'll shuffle. And then we'll have to decide. Let's do clubs will be Apovar. Spades can be uh, Formic. Diamonds will be hop guard. I better do some more shuffling here, I guess. And hearts will be uh, OAV. So that's how I'm going to set the trial up. Be easier to shuffle if it wasn't quite so windy. All right, so we're gonna go down the row. Let's put the deck, oh, don't need the rules. Okay. Might run into trouble here. Oh no, the wind's gonna blow us. We'll have to do it as we go. But anyway, you get the idea of uh, how we're gonna randomize this. Uh, and uh, once we run out, I've, some of this is leftovers from previous uh, year's applications. Uh, so we don't have exactly even numbers of everything. I think we got about 50 doses of everything. So we probably about two yards of uh, hives. So uh, we'll stop now and then we'll do another, I'll edit in a video once we have uh, once you see how these are all applied, okay? So that's it for the moment. Okay, we got things set up here. So we got our Apovar sponges and or uh, uh, Mike Gone sponges. And what I've done is I've pulled out the outside two frames, shook the outside one off, laid the sponge down with tongs so I didn't have to handle the acid, poked in a piece of toothpick. Uh, I just take a toothpick, break it in half, and do it in half on each. And that's to keep that uh, sliding in. I know, now, Randy Oliver didn't think much of these mic on pads when he reviewed them. And I don't think he's wrong about it, but I think uh, what makes these sponges uh, useful, as far as I can tell, is the fact that uh, the provider wraps them in plastic so that it's a relatively slow. Uh, exposure and so that the formic acid uh, was released over a fairly slow period and now to get them in I just kind of cradle that and I want to slide it in and then wedge those against the wall and then put the second frame in I'll come around to that one and do it Love to slide away on you. Sometimes you kind of have to. Yeah. yeah. Oh well. Uh, 
Uh, Bill Rizuka, the, the provider of those, he says he wants them to hang in there so that it oozes out, that uh, flows by gravity out the bottom over time. Then we have hives treated with these mic or uh, hop guard strips, which is a cardboard strip. We saved one here to look at. It's basically a piece of one-sided cardboard, and that uh, texture holds the oil, which I guess is some sort of hops extract, and that oil is supposed to be a miticide. And so that hive is treated with that. That one is too. So just, and then, oh yeah, we got the Apovar treatments here. So that's pretty standard. Just two stripes hanging in. You want them to be in the brood area. I like to put them sightward towards the back so that when I come back and pull them out again, I don't have to expose the whole mm -hmm. hive and hunt for them. I, so that all of them will be kind of in that same location. Over the next pallet. These Formic uh, sponges, you gotta be super careful with this stuff, folks, if you're working with the with Formic, any, any liquid acid. On the truck we have uh, several packages of baking soda uh, to neutralize any acid that was spilled. I have had, uh, I used to use these quite extensively and then I had a worker get injured with the acid. And I kind of swore never again, but uh, here we are. Uh, so the, and I, the system that provides, actually pretty well thought out. He provides them in a box that's wrapped in plastic. You pour the acid into the, to the shipping container, let it soak into the sponges. I've pulled them out with tongs so we haven't handled them. Stuck in the little uh, toothpick. And so we never really have to handle them by hand. And just with a little bit of dexterity, they just slide into the hive. It just barely hangs on long enough to get them there, but then they're wedged against the wall and it's all good. With all of these, we kind of did them one treatment at a time so that we weren't, weren't uh, mixing uh, different ingredients on our gloves and whatnot. That hop guard stuff is pretty gross and greasy, so disposable gloves are definitely the way to go. Oh, I slipped on that one. Yes. Results on it on spring treatments, and then when I quit using it, when my my employee had trouble, then uh, for a few years I had pretty wicked losses. So uh, I was doing something for me, no question about that. Whether it's going to work in this fall application with cooler weather. And we're going to put a big slug of, of feed on these hives right away. Uh, I mean, I don't know, and that's why I'm testing. So anyway, what we uh, what we saw is how to set up a bit of a randomized trial with the playing cards. I still have some left, and we'll find another site and use the rest of them. And uh, so there should be, uh, you know, equal number of, of each candidates in the trial. Uh, they're marked with a playing card then also not only randomizes it, but also becomes your tag so you know which treatment is which. 
and uh, and then how each uh, uh, treatment is applied. It's a bit of a pain to do four different treatments in one one site. It slowed our work down quite a bit here, but uh, hopefully we learn something that makes it all worthwhile. All right, that's it for today. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.